Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com, finishing off a trio of introductory videos covering the Ellie Wilson Stainless Case Trimmer. This is the trimmer for people that are obsessive about precision and must have absolute perfection in their case prep. In the first video, we did a little bit of an unboxing. We set it up, did a basic demo. In the second video, we looked at an end-to-end -end 6.5 Creedmoor loading scenario using the trimmer and in this video we're going to accessorize a little bit. I've got the Wilson trimmer power adapter here that means we're going to be able to take our cordless screwdriver, yes you need something a little slower than a drill driver to get just the right finish and that's going to apply power to the situation, that's going to speed things up a little bit, it's going to make things a little bit easier on our hands and on our joints so let's get straight into it. So the power adapter for the Ellie Wilson case trimmer basically replaces the crank handle. And replacing the crank handle with the power adapter is really easy. All we need is a 5 8 inch wrench. I'm just going to crack the nut here. And when we crack the nut, the trimmer head is just going to screw right out. We replace the crank handle with the power adapter. And this is not going to be exactly the same in terms of the position. We're going to put this back into the trimmer and then we're going to need to double check our trim length. So the reason for the difference in trim to length when we swap out this trimming head from either the power adapter or the crank handle is that we're going to screw it into either the power adapter or the crank handle a different distance and lock it down with that nut. The left hand edge of this nut here is what bottoms out against the case trimmer body and that establishes the trim to length, that and the micrometer stop. So to set this, I'm just going to loosen my micrometer lock. We're going to put a case into the trimmer, so back, that, back that out a little bit. And then we have a little bit of a gap here, okay, we're all the way we have a gap. Now we're going to run this up until, I'm just shaving just an ever, ever so slight amount here. So I'm going to run it up and we're going to run it a few thousandths in. We'll do a temporary lock on that. Use our power here to trim the case. And let's see what that looks like. Looks like we got a good clean trim. Here's another little tip, is I actually like to take the chamfer tool while I've got the case in the case holder, give it a quick turn, flip it, give it a quick turn, makes the case a little bit easier to hold on to. So there we have a trimmed case. Let's take a look at another one here. And again, you're gonna to wanna to check your trim to length and adjust accordingly. What I like about this is that it just takes any of the guesswork, any of the wobble, and a lot of the effort out of the whole equation, and we can trim cases just a lot easier this way. I would say faster. You can still trim pretty fast with the manual method, with the hand crank, but this gives us that extra little edge that I think is going to make this whole trimming process that much more enjoyable. Again, I'm going to go through each of these and give them a little bit of a chamfer and we're good to go. You can see how much of an improvement that makes. And here we're going to back things out just a little bit so that you can see kind of the wide angle view, the complete assembly in action. It's just that easy. Just like with the hand crank, we're going to keep trimming. Um, I didn't trim with the case holder that time. We're going to keep trimming until we see there's no more shavings dropping. It's just going to be basically that quick. I only have to handle the case once to do a trim, and an inside chamfer, and an outside chamfer. Very nice. So that's really all there is to it. This power adapter installs in just seconds. We can remove our cordless screwdriver in just seconds, reattach it. This is going to really enhance the process, but we retain all of the precision by using this type of a tool. So if you want more information, click on the full blog post link in the video description. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action here on GavinTube and on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.